Hey guys, hope all is well with you guys this week. Uh, it's a beautiful day here in a sunny Columbia. Feels like a, the the most beautiful spring day where things just start to get a little warm, and you love it. That's how it's feeling out here right now. It's feeling great. We got some good news for you. As you guys know, we've had a lot of bad things going on. If you hear someone th come through the door, it'll be my wife who is uh, not teaching this year. Uh, she got out of the contract that she had due to troubles that we're having around here and the previous, previous place where we were at, where we lived. Uh, she's going to be home during the day and I thank the Lord for that. Uh, very thankful that she'll be around, uh, with us every day, all day. And I'm sure in two or three weeks, I'll be praying for her to go somewhere all day. <laughs> I'm just teasing with you. Great news with Joe. Uh, We've got a professional coming. Uh, this guy fights at 165. Uh, he is professional, a professional. Um, he's had many, many fights. Uh, and Joe's going to get taxed. And he's going to get pushed. And uh, this guy's big enough that uh, he sh with the eight years eight and a half years experience this guy has should be able to tax Joe and push Joe to a limit. Uh, I'll be videotaping this. I'm going to get him here for two or three days, and uh, you guys know my coordination slowed down a lot, but he's going to come offered to come in uh, help us and do pad work with Joe and uh, Diego. Uh, help me out with that and the things with the, where I don't have the coordination no more. And he's going to help, help uh, through showing through sight, which I can't do, show Joe and Diego how to, and a couple other guys how to uh, uh do pad work with each other better because there's an art form to doing pad work guys and some guys can do it and some guys can't uh, some guys are real good up to the outside but won't do inside pad work and uh, so it, there's an art to that but we're very thankful we got the guy coming uh, I will video uh, stand or fall. We will video it all uh, as far as the sparring goes. Uh, I don't really even want to call. There will be some sparring, but there's going to be some full dead on. Of course, I will require that they both wear headgear. No sense in not wearing no headgear and, and uh, 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 no matter how hard you're trying to push each other. Uh, not in the gym. Uh, so we'll, we'll be wearing, they'll both be wearing that. Uh, and uh, and all that. And, and mouth guards and all. And uh, this is going to be real interesting. I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, a lot of you that that know our game and know the history with Joe. Uh, my wife has took contracts in many cities and we've moved around a lot. The normal thing is, uh, just like happened here where we're at, well, it was worse here where we're at, but the normality of it all with us is we move to a city for a year. My wife fulfills a contract and we go somewhere else. Joe comes in. There's usually two or three gyms. Uh, Joe goes to a gym. 
asked to spar the biggest guy after we're there about a week or two. We'll both pick the best one out and, the, and usually the biggest best one. Uh, uh, whoop up on them, then nobody wants to spar no more. And that's the generality with what we've been had going on. Uh, to be able to get this guy in here for two or three days, this will be marvelous. So this will happen uh, towards the beginning of September, so uh, within the first two weeks of September. That's what we're shooting for. So this will be very soon. And uh, I don't... I don't know what will happen, but with this guy, uh, he, Joe and him are going to go some full, dead on, super intense, full on holding nothing back, holding zero back, so we can see what Joe's got. So the guy at 165 is big enough. Uh, to push Joe. Joe's lost actually a lot of weight, so it's only going to be about a 15 pound difference between he and Joe. So uh, right now, as it, as it stands, so uh, we're going to see what's going on with Joe with the cardio, which we haven't had guys that can push and take him. Uh, into distances to build him up and you know you can get out here and you can run you, I mean you, you can do so many things but uh, you can swim you can run uh, burpees the whole nine yards but there's a, when you get the gloves on and you're going full on and all the chaos uh nerve reactions, all these things molded into one. Uh, you don't know what you got. The guy can be running five miles a day and get in the ring and gas out. Well, no, he can't. Well, yeah, they do. And it happens every day. And uh, so you've got to push yourself and tax yourself in the exact situations that you're going to be in or you won't find out what's going on. So hit or miss uh, if if, he get, if Joe gets mauled we're, we're all going to see it we're, and I'm going to put everything out uh, if Joe flattens the guy uh, then that's my worry uh, I don't want you to take I don't know what's going to happen as any type of insecurity, I think Joe's going to do what Joe always does, no matter how big or how fast or whatever they are, or their walk is. I think Joe's going to, uh, once the, the other guy feels the power, it's going to be the same thing. As soon as the guy feels the power, uh, the complexion of it all will change. And, when I say power, I'm not talking about his bench press lift, you know, or his squat. I'm talking fighting power. And uh, uh, the f fighters with a lot of experience, you understand exactly what I'm saying. So uh, you really don't have to have a whole lot of experience, but with, with experience. So we're going to see what happens here. Thanking God up in this house for... The blessings he gives us, uh, even thanking God for some of the <clears throat> for the bad things that we're going through, because it builds strength, it builds character. Uh, Joe's just been continuing through everything bad that's been going on, and uh, been rolling right through it, and that's the mark of the champion. And uh, again, I want to stress to all of you. At some point, towards the middle or the end of 2024, our set goal is to be back in the United States, uh, and certainly before the ending of 2024, we want to be back in the United States. Uh, we'll probably end up in Charlotte, uh, but who knows? We'll see. Um, that's really the set place uh, for us to be and for us to go. 
Uh, I've got people there that worked with uh, uh, with a former WBA champion who I met and who I can't think of his name right now and who I met his, his trainer. Now, the trainer I can think of, Ace Miller, you throw a rock across the border into Tennessee to him. Uh, he's passed away, but there's people in Charlotte that were around uh, Big John Tate, and there, there are people there that I know uh, that are friends of mine that worked. Uh, John Tate's deceased as well, but worked with Ace Miller and with the team uh, in Charlotte, and that's probably where we're going to end up. The great people, everybody that they did get a hold of met great success, uh, either in the Olympics, Pan American Games, or the professional ranks. Uh, so there's some great people we can work with there that <clears throat> are super knowledgeable uh, that hopefully we can help and that they can help us. So that's what it's all about. So blessings to everyone, to all my Christian brothers and sisters out there. I want to say God bless you. Uh, we, we hope God bestows what you need on you, uh, the good and the bad, because sometimes we need bad, and we're having bad stretches, but the things about these bad things is they get you exactly where you need to be. So uh, along with good things, get you where you need to be, as long as they're coming from God. So pray for his will to be done, in your life and we pray for his will to be done in your life if you're a christian brother and sister to the other folks uh hope you get a knock on the door today to your heart and you open up and let him in uh you certainly certainly uh will be glad that you did so much love to everybody and we'll see you soon